This is SE Featured. This is the power of sports. These are the faces of fantasy football. If you're watching this, you know someone who plays fantasy. And as fantasy football has exploded in popularity, the stakes have been raised to epic heights. Now, I'm not talking about what you get if you win. Oh no, I'm talking about what happens to you when you lose. From having pain inflicted to being doused with something nasty, there's no shortage of creative and different ways to punish losers. Our goal, humiliate the person who comes in last because it is embarrassing and you should be tormented for it. It's something that can last, something that we'll have for a while. Oh yeah, <laughs> rock it. You want this to be something that you're fearing throughout the whole year. Oh my God. Guys don't care about winning, they just care about not losing anymore. You're a loser. Draft day has always been an important day of the year. I'm taking back on Because whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not finish last in fantasy football. You're gonna take part in watching me embarrass myself with increasingly worse outfits, and this is just one of them. Our first stop in Punishmentville, Alberta, Canada. This is where we have the Frashbacker League and Ryan Fraser, whose fantasy football ineptitude will cost him every month of the year. We kind of themed him up to match the months somewhat. And just try to get 12 good pictures to make a calendar that people will have a chuckle at. I drafted Sammy Watkins. Russell Wilson is my QB and Todd Gurley. My first four or five picks all did nothing. At the end of the day, I'm still going to love him. <laughs> Even though we had to do a sexy calendar shoot. In Long Island, the Dirty Dozen League isn't taking chances. They have their members sign a contract acknowledging that if you finish last, you will face the consequences. And if you don't go through with it, you're kicked out. Joe, who is my brother-in-law, he finished in last place. We gave him some grief, but we kind of let it go because we wanted to let his guard come down and let him think that, oh, maybe they forgot about the punishment. James. James. Joe doesn't know it yet, hey, hey. but he's in for a huge surprise. Oh, hey, Joe. Matthew Barry here, senior fantasy analyst for ESPN. You sucked at fantasy football last year. The price of being terrible has consequences, and now you, sir, must pay the price. So without further ado, here's your punishment. Are you afraid of hot wax? Because you should be. Because that's exactly what's gonna get poured all over those disgusting, super hairy legs of yours. Sorry, man. The guys asking to do this are not your buddies. Hang tough, pal. Oh. It went way too slow, and I just don't understand why people willingly do this. There is no possible way I'm coming in last next year. One of the most recent trends in fantasy football fails is remaking a music video. And in the Backyard Football League, Loser. the reenactments are epic. Give me some perch the lips. The first year was my buddy Dan. He had to do Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. Unfortunately, we can't let you hear these songs because we couldn't clear them for broadcast. Lucky for us, however, this league picked a song we can all sing to. <laughs> From emotional punishment to physical punishment. This is the wild bunch of the fantasy punishers. The Tomato League from New York. I'm here <laughs> live with Danny. You are being tomatoed in about five minutes. What's special about our league is that we punish the last place person by throwing tomatoes at them. <laughs> oh! If you don't come in last in our league, you get embarrassed. Close. It's a living nightmare, honestly. We leave with welts. Some headshots kill also. The first 
30 seconds feel like five minutes of their own right there. Ah! Hey! You think like, oh, it couldn't happen to me. You know, you're throwing tomatoes at this guy and you just think it couldn't happen to me. And then it happens to guys all the time. Oh, yeah! How fast they're throwing, I'd say they probably get it in the 60s. Five. Everyone's sending you tomato tweets, texts, and emojis for the entire year leading up to that. So that's a living nightmare in and of itself. We're not letting them forget. They say a comment, oh, what are you guys doing for dinner tonight? We're throwing tomatoes at you. And these days, it's not just about the punishment. It's about your league letting everyone in the world know you lost. Don't you dare lose because this is coming to you. Draft better. If you're gonna place a bet, know what you're getting into. If it was just a standard league with no punishment, then I can see us possibly not being into it as much. No one wants to drop out of this league. We're gonna stay in it, and it helps us stay close as friends.